The swarm of the earthquakes in the Grindavik Rift Valley of the Swartzengi Volcanic System in the Reckonance Peninsula of the Iceland in the North Atlantic uh, Ocean was like a shaking of a catch-up which makes the catch-up to run, causing the non-Newtonian fluid magma, which is like a catch-up also a non-Newtonian fluid, to run, to be able to flow. And the result was this. What happened in the Grindavik Rift Valley was interesting. It actually snapped, shrunk in a way you can say. Let's see. This is the Swartzengi GPS data shows in the north direction. We had a fall, then a rise. So practically it shrunk, then get extended again. Like a gearbox, you actually released it. Or like an elastic band, you shrink it, then it gets extended again. What happened in the east-west direction was complete shrinking of it. This was practically closing the uh, what was the gap opened during the eruption, like a snap, as you can see here. And what happened in the vertical direction, we had a rise, magma moving from the uh, west side to under the sourcing, then flowing toward the uh, Grindavik Rift Valley, and then bang, eruption. This is what we had. The flow of the magma was extremely high. And when it came into contact with the groundwater due to the rain, this happened. But in less than 24 hours, this reduced to this. Magma phreatic reactions is almost uh, non-existent anymore. What we have is also that the zipper of this fissure is gradually closing down and this is what the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office practically is saying that I have presented all the facts a little bit more also on my own thoughts you can read this I will put it also in the description the newest map shows the extent of this eruption it reached this time to the west side and our defenses around the town of the Grindavik hold back to that very well done on that and the sections of the rift also were we able actually to see that in the newest map. That is what I mentioned. It was not a straight line. In one of the earlier videos, I showed that the town of the Grindavik is safe. Gas pollution exists still. This is the danger for that. It may flow today toward the west side. But uh, what we had worried that this uh, um, wall will be breached has not happened the wall, the lava defenses have hold well. Despite all the little things happening here and there, the magma was flowing very fast. So far, this is what has happened. I keep you updated as the events develop over the time.